I'm so glad that's over. So glad. Alright, so now we just wait, huh? Summon the Leverkin where the botchling is buried. Sit and wait. By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Oh, wow. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Oh my gosh, no way. We're gonna find the family now. Let's go, baby. Help. Oh, I'm excited for this. Don't stop raining, my arsehole <laughs> Where are they at? Okay, so they did leave the town. That would have been crazy if they were just hiding in town, you know? Come on, Roach. We got a Leverkin to, uh, leverkin to go. follow. <clears throat> Man, couldn't talk for a minute. Are you serious right now? I ain't fighting these things. Let's go. We're out of here. I've been through enough fighting. No Faster. way. Oh, okay. Never mind. Wait, what? Ugh, sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around, though. Okay, so... They might be in here, then. Or maybe not, but who knows. How do we get in? What in the world? Oh, hang on. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Okay. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Clothing. They change in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Okay. We follow the botchling again? Or not botchling. Wants but to show me something more. Leprechaun. Let's go. Follow it. No, thank you. We're out of here. This is so crazy, man. Following this thing. It's cool, though. Level six. Oh, bastard. No, don't say it's here. Are you serious? Just had a field day. Still worth a closer look. Get out of here. What was that? Whoa! Excuse me. Get out of here! Ow! Eating, eating! 
Not trying to die here. Oh my god. Okay. Gonna die. Might die. Oh my. Of course. Of course. Yep. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> what? Uh, this is killing me. Of course. Yep. Man, that's brutal. That is brutal. The fact that I have to start all the way from right here. That just hurts, man. That hurts so much. Got eyes like a cat. You catch mine too. Well, I'm still not gonna cut edit. I'm gonna just keep going. I just wish these enemies were not like so difficult to fight. Especially on easy difficulty, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. Yep. Ah, oh, come on. Try to keep up, you lubberkin. Fucking shit. All right, Roach, let's go. It's plowing, pouring again. Let me turn to Igni. There we go. Don't stop raining, my awesome Let's go. Alright, so this damn pool's a bastard it is. I, I wanna see if I can save it while while I'm at that house. Show me what you got. Maybe I need a better weapon too. Probably look into that. Move it. All right, here we are. Now let me see if I can save it. Yes, thank God. All right. Horseshoe. Ugh, sure no wasn't that bitch. They kept it for a horse. Oh my God. Looking around though. He's talking too much. No, what are you doing? I just want to loot. Thank you. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Okay. Clothing. They change in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Okay. Wants to show me something. Let me save it again. Because I don't want to go through this again. Come right. on. Kind of sucks like we have to like save it and everything in order just to be at the spot where we want to go. Little annoying, not gonna lie. But this part right here, this is gonna be even more annoying. Alright, here we go. Let me save it again. So weird that you have to do that. Let's go. I can't really get in good hits on the horse. Hang on. Easy. Oh my god. The damage, y'all. Take that. How long are you gonna make me wait? What is that? 
Oh my god. I just want to examine the horse carcass, fam. Come on. Ah, uh, lost your nerve. Eat that. Not again. Really? Why is this a thing? Do I have to like kill it before like? Ow. Burn! Okay, they just keep coming. Like, what is this? Ah! Oh, what are you doing? Get your sword out! I'm wondering if I'm, like, supposed to kill it before it, like, explodes? Ouch! Oh, thank God. All right, we're done. Jeez. What do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. I'm not fighting those things again. Please, God, no. Come on, Roach. I'm coming, Loverkin. What else do you have to show me, huh? No way. Are we really going here? I don't like it. Uh-oh. Anyone home? A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer oh, look. Oh, shoot! Who's that? At the room. Go home now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure? Not even passing through? Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy. I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kiddie. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Huh. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of our father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Because... Because he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean... Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. 
What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two elves in front of you. Moon had arisen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. For then I saw it, fiery marks on her hands. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come, a time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. In shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Wow. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron, on the palms, inside. Burned, like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. So she's a witch? Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. Wow. So I think we just found out about her. Oops, I'm an idiot. I didn't mean to do that. I don't mean to steal, everyone. Just trying to find the way out. Where is the way out? What the heck? There we go. Here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Aw. Level four. All right, I got some points available. Uh, might as well, you know? I haven't really done points in a, in a bit. Select the Mutagens tab, okay. Choose a mood again, then place it in the indicated slots. Okay. Oh, Vitality 50. How about that? Once activated, uh, mood again, grant bonuses to your character statistics. Oh. Very nice. Good to know. All right. So. Here's the thing, right? I got two points available. Threshold. Core ability. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's see. Strong attack.
Yeah, let's get this. As for other stuff, increases Ard's range. Pushes his opponents back when it breaks. Okay. This is alchemy, okay. General? Vitality by 15%. Increases critical hit damage, 25% of fast attack damage by five. Ooh, let me get that. There we go. As for everything else, I guess we're good. All right. Let's go ahead and get Roach. And we out of here. Yeah, that was a fun mission, I'm not gonna lie. It was a lot, but... And very stressful, but still, it was pretty cool. And now that we know like where they are, that's gonna that's gonna be awesome. Find Tamara, the Baron's daughter, in Oxenford. Okay, so don't know exactly where Oxenford's gonna be, but let me go ahead and. Tell the Baron real quick. Draw your weapon. Since he's like right here, you know. Might as well. Man, this game's been such an adventure, so thank you so much for all the love and support that you're giving on this series. It truly means a lot to me. I know it's taking a while for these parts to get up because, you know, it's... They're like an hour long, over an hour long sometimes. Take it easy. Witcher, a word, please. Uh... What is it? That night, when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk? No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sits. Hmm. And I think I wonder why. Or I think I know why. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Hmm. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taking them all from this damned villain. In this hole. This reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? 
never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. All right. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Ciri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Ciri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. Oh, here we go again. That lass of yours, pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Foltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Seri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? Hey, okay. At Kerr Morhen. Witcher school there, are I? But they only took lads, as I recall. They made an exception for me. Right. Me to say you're a she-witcher. Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witches there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword, I've known one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. A race, huh? All right. The day dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Mancha! Here we go. Come on, Siri. Don't Whew, you let's get it. Us. Go, go, go. And I am leaving him in the dust. Too easy.
I won. Your wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Shoot. We're fighting a griffin! She screamed like a mad oh. woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but... Nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. Let's play Gwent. Nah. So long. Cool. Alright, I kind of want to go back to, uh, performance mode. I just miss it. Don't get me wrong. Ray tracing is really sick, but I miss the smoothness. Alright, I'm out of here. White Witcher! When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A rag doll. Uh -huh. Cool. Will do. Fancy an outing to find that she beat. Oh. There you are, Roach. What a bad idea. Nice tits on her. I'm talking about the Shrieker. Let's go. We can have it in the pen. It's kind of cool how you can, like, gallop through the city. Like, full-on sprint. Pretty nice. Not many games do that Ever at all. That's it, Roach. Okay, it can't move. There we go. Oh yeah, I have missed this smoothness, man. Alright, well, we have to find her in our- Ow. We have to find her- Okay. Really? Buddy, you are freaking annoying. Ow! Why are there two of them? Okay. Hey, I can't move! Frick off! Leave me alone. You gotta be kidding me. Are they attacking Roach? Are you serious? Nah, that's not happening. That is not happening. That is such a long journey. Please tell me there's a nice little fast travel point. Okay. Thank God. I was about to say, man. That would have been a very long way. Hey, what the heck? Get off, Roach! Come here, Roach. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Go, 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 go! Oh my god, come on, Roach. Oh, Roach, what are you doing? Oh! I freaking hate that you get stuck on rocks and you can't gallop over them. Oh, it's so annoying. Wait, what? You can jump? I thought I'd test it out, and it looks like you can. Wow, okay. Coming through. That jump is very majestic. All right, good to know. Glad you can jump. All right, Tamara. I'm coming. The 
The story's been so good, man. Just like doing these types of things, just... It's so nice. Uh-oh, did I lose the trail? Where'd the white dots go? Oh no. I don't know what happened to the white dots. Uh this way maybe? What is that? Wait a minute. That bridge goes pretty far. That makes me wonder I need to like go over there, maybe. Hang on. Yeah, I do. Oh wait. What? Hold on. White. The whiteness is telling me to go this way for some odd reason. Even though it's making me go really far. Wait, what? The white dots just disappear. That's kind of odd. I don't know then. Maybe we do go in here? You'll choke to death on three pounds of skin. I think we need to cross this bridge. Here we go. Coming through, fellas. Hopefully I can get past. Take it easy. Halt. No passage. Case of the plague surface in the city or something. The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's in order, so I don't. Unless someone's got a pass. I've got to pass. <laughs> this way, you mean? Let me look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, missing a seal, the red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. If that happens, so be it. You may come through. Yay! Thank God. Come through. Long live, except. All right, now we just have to find Tamara. Made it to a brand new city. Look at this, yo. Choked to death on three pounds of steel. What the devil? Oh, this is so cool. I always love going to new areas. I'm dying just expands the game, you know? Feels so nice. Everyone to me! To me! Oh, here we go. Enhancing armor. Long live Radovid! I'm looking for Tamara, the bloody baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. Hey, let's go. Thank God she's here. Hey, kitty. Who might you be? My father sends you. Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. I don't blame you. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. 
Promise to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Why'd your mother miscarry? Ooh, that's a, that's a bad question. <laughs> what happened to your mother? Tell me your side of the story. I like that. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. Finally, we'd had enough, Mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce, my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that, that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. Hmm. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the eternal fire. Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. Hmm. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <coughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden. Witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for tomorrow, she can make her own decisions. Mm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the eternal fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck. Hmm. Nibbles. <laughs> That's cute. What a cute name for a cat. All right. Well, there you have it. 
Talk to the Baron about Tamara. And then the last one is investigate all remaining leads in Velen and find the Baron's wife. Cool. Oh, there's a thing over there. Uh, how do I get that? This way. I will gladly fast travel back to the Baron. Please and thank you. I thought I could travel there. That would have been sick. Oh, well. All right, time to talk to the Baron. Tell him the daughter's safe and sound. Quite work, and then we shall find the Baron's wife. Feels like a wild goose chase that we're on, you know? It's crazy, but it's fun. Got no complaints here. Don't object to your white moat. I'll tell you. I'll tell you where the loot's at. <laughs> oh, I wonder if he's in the field again. Hang on. Nope. All right. He's actually in the house this time. I love how the house is back intact, you know? I'm back. Hello, my friend. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Oh, God, I hoped, despite all. Oh. What of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! Okay, that's it, I guess. So long. Alright, investigate all remaining leads in Velen and find the Baron's wife. Hmm. Why do I feel like this is gonna be difficult? to take any of this. Hmm. It's another doll. Weird. Is there anything else I should know about? How am I gonna find her? Wait a minute. Wait, can I not? Remaining leads. Looks like I've already done all this. I don't get why that's still red, though. Plowing hangover. Hmm. Let me look down here, maybe. You white one, look like you got soused last night too. Roots are gonna rot my gut. Uh. Hmm. Siri was here. Oh, here we go. Stash. What? Oh, 
I'll take that. And now we'll take that. Guess I will take that as well. Quest items. Another letter to Tamara. Hmm. Guess I'll take it all. Yennefer's letter. Hmm. Take it all. All right. The natural obscurity of curses by Lydia Van Bredevort. Where'd Siri get this? Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. Wait, so this is Siri then. This isn't the Baron's wife. Spinning top. Gritka's toy. Is that everything? Yeah, it is. Nothing in here. Let me go back. Try to win them all, but you won't. So that's pretty cool. I uh got new armor. Ooh. So that's the only difference then. Nice. So now I got that. Now what about the sword? It said I had another sword. Where'd it go? I thought I got the sword. What? Hang on. Oh, I put it in the stash, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Want to take everything. in high places in Vizima. Okay. So now, do I have the sword? Yes, I do. There it is. Nice. Let me get these on. And this. There we go. Now we got some new stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect. All right, leads to find the Baron's wife. How are we gonna do that exactly, though? That's my wonder. I doubt she would be in I here, right? Man. Got any Hungry like a huh? wolf, I am. Nothing. What? Hmm. I need a good flower. What is it, Grey Boy? Let me talk to the Baron real quick. I think he's upstairs. Through here. Wait. Maybe not. Hold on. No, it's not up here. It's in here. There we go. I'm listening. Um. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folks say witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. Okay. How do you wind up here? Just curious. 
It's not secret. I was a Temerian soldier. My unit smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled, abandoned the Perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilfgaardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. So long. We don't really have to play Gwent, right? You think there would be clues here, but I guess not. Can't be in two places at once, can I? Nothing yeah. here for you. Can't talk to anyone here. Want a chat? No, with me. My head's a twirling with hunger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Pretty much don't know where to go here, but either way, it has been a very long video. About to hit that two hour mark. I wish I could pet the dog. That would have been an amazing thing to add. But with that being said, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. You guys are the best and only Assassination family on YouTube, going big and growing strong. I love you all, and if you're new, be sure to subscribe to the Assassination Family an today. I'd be honored to have you on this 2022 journey with me. About to be 2023, coming up, baby. I'm so excited. And I hope you guys are too. It's going to be a great year for games. I can just feel it already in my bones. But love you all. And as always, I will see all of you guys and girls in the next video.